Now, if you've tuned into past episodes of Acoustic Tuesday, you know that lately I'm on a pick discovering spree. I mean, we've we've looked at picks upon picks upon picks upon picks. You need to go to AcousticLife.tv, check out the back episodes, check out the reviews section, and see all the picks I've been trying recently. I mean, from Dunlop Prime Tones to Dunlop Flows to the Shark Tooth Crossover pick, you name it, I've tried it so far. And of course, if you want me to try a different pick, you can go to AcousticLife.tv and submit a product recommendation. But this week, I tried a brand new pick to me. Now, I've heard about this pick for a long time, and I've never really tried it. I tried it once before on the mandolin, and it was just kind of a, I don't know, I just tried it. I didn't really put much thought into it, but this time I thought a lot more about it as I tried it. The pick I'm referring to, of course, was made by Michael Wiegand of the Netherlands, and of course it is the Wiegand pick, the Wegen pick, the Wegen pick. Hopefully, I, well, hopefully one of those is correct. Judging by my pronunciation today, I don't know. Now, one thing to know about the Wiegand picks is that there are a ton of sizes and thicknesses available to you. Now, I found a great, uh, uh, if you go to Griffin Strings, there's a great lineup of the picks. You can see them all on one page. Uh, from I mean, from the, the triangle pick, which is known as the Trimus <clears throat> in various uh, thicknesses, all the way to the Gypsy Jazz pick. There's also one called the Fat Tone or the Fat One. That's like a five millimeter pick. There's also, uh, as I mentioned, mandolin picks, the Big City pick, which is more of a jazz style pick. Well, what I tried, just to be clear, because I wanted, I wanted to be very specific in what I tried, I tried the oh, Bluegrass pick, which comes with this little blue own. card in the bag. And these come in a standard thickness of 1.4 millimeters. A little bit thinner than what I'm used to, but I figured, what the hell? I got to give these a try. So I tried it. My initial experience with these picks is that they have, it's a softer material. So there's a, there's an amount of almost a drag that you experience with these picks. Now this isn't a good thing or a bad thing. It's just a thing. But I noticed that as I pick through the string, the pick kind of grabs hold of the string. And I initially thought this to be uh, kind of a con or a downfall of the pick. But oh, contraire, that's not the case. After using the pick for about two weeks, because I usually give it about a two week window, I really wanna dig into the pick and use it. And what I found is that yes, this is a softer material. Yes, I experience a little bit of drag on the strings, but that actually contributes to a darker and grittier tone. So if you're, if you're a player that likes to dig in, if you're a player that likes to add an exclamation point on like the end of a G run or something like that, let me give you an example since I have my guitar right here. Something like uh, uh, that kind of last where you can really dig in, that's extremely possible. <laughs> it's very possible with the Wiegand picks. Because of the softer material, because of this 1.4 millimeter uh, thickness and the flex it offers, you can really dig in and, and bring out a robust, dark, almost gritty tone. And that's what I ended up loving this pick for. So it goes to show you, if you're trying out a pick, you really gotta give it, you gotta put it through its paces. You can't just you know pick a couple tunes and say, eh, no big deal, I don't love it. You gotta really stick with it and see what, what it excels at. And I think the Wigan picks are fantastic. If you want a darker, robust, grittier tone, if you want to be able to dig in and kind of pull as much tone out of your guitar as possible, the Wiegand picks are fantastic. Now, I ordered mine through Artisan Guitars. They're, they're down in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, so you can get them at, at uh, Artisan Guitars. We also just shared the, the website of Griffin Strings. They have a whole bunch of, of different Wiegand picks that they offer. Also, I want to say Elderly carries them amongst many other uh, uh, stores. I'm not trying to just single those guys out, but those are the ones that come to mind. Um, you can go to the Wiegand Picks website, just go to AcousticLife.tv and you'll see in episode 40 a uh, specific section for the Wiegand Picks. And uh, just click on that, you can visit the website and find a dealer in your area. Or if you want a custom pick that's not offered, you can actually contact Michael direct and he will be able to make a custom pick for you, be it whatever shape you want, whatever thickness you want. Uh, really the, the, uh, the options are endless. Um, and I, I would strongly recommend trying them. I was very impressed by these picks and they certainly kind of, I don't know, they, they, they weren't what I expected, but I'm glad. Uh, they offered a very different tonal spectrum than the other picks that I've been sampling lately. Um, so make sure to check those out. Again, those are Wiegand picks.